start para the question which is involved in this reference is whether while computing the deduction of tax on intercorporate dividend under section 85a of the income tax act 1961 the income from dividend should be taken as its gross figure or at net figure after deducting the expenditure incurred by the concern sec to earn that dividend short facts of the case are that the respondent sec is a private limited company during the course of the accounting periods relevant to the assessment years 1965 66 and 1966 67 it derived income in the form of dividends on share of order companies for the assessment year 1965 66 its gross dividend received from indian companies amounted to rupees 6.09 as against this received in uh, incurred an expenditure of rupees 23594 in the shape of interest on borrowing made to earn this dividend during the course of the assessment a question arose whether for the purpose of deduction contemplated by section 85a of the income tax act 1961 which is hereafter referred to as the act average rate of tax on gross amount of rupees 6,9101 should be calculated or whether the said average rate of tax should be calculated on the net amount thereof after deducting rupees 23594 paid by way of interest on the borrowings made to earn the said dividends similar question also arose in regard to the next assessment years 1966 67 para the income tax officer and the appellate assistant commissioner held that for the purpose of deduction under section 85a only the net and not the gross amount of dividends should be taken into account being agreed by this decision of the appellate assistant commissioner the sec preferred an appeal to the appellate tribunal the appellate tribunal relied upon the decision given by the bombay high court in commissioner of income tax versus industrial investment trust company limited and the kolkata high court decision in commissioner of income tax versus darbhanga marketing company limited and came to the conclusion that for the purpose of deduction under section 85a it is the gross dividend income received by the sec and not the net dividend income which should be taken into account thus the tribunal decided in favor of the sec with the result that the revenue has preferred this reference the tribunal has referred to us the following question for our opinion para this type of deduction shows that if an sec can prove that a particular item of expenditure was laid out or expended wholly and exclusively for the purpose of earning income by way of dividend then that expenditure should be deducted for the purpose of computing the total income of the concerned sec the only relevant section which now remains to be pointed out in section 66 which relates to the aggregation of income and provides how the total income of an sec should be computed it says that in computing the total income of an sec there shall be included all income on which no income tax is payable under chapter 7 as already noted above the deduction with which we are concerned in this case is the deduction under chapter 7 para the provisions contained in the above referred relevant section of the act show how a total income of an sec is expected to be computed in this computation if the dividend income is to be included under the income head 
then as provided by section 57 in bracket 3 any expenditure which is said out wholly and exclusively for the purpose of earning that dividend income should first be deducted before arriving at the figure of total income it is therefore evident that the dividend component of the total income is not the gross figure of the dividend received by the concern SEC, but only the net dividend which he receives after deducting the expenditure contemplated by clause 3 of section 57. Therefore, when the second part of section 85A refers to income so included in the computation of total income of the concern SEC, it contemplates not the gross income in form of dividend but the net income and if that be so, the average rate of income tax which is to be deducted under section 85A should be on the amount of net income of dividend received by the SEC as contended by the revenue stock.